The labor shortage continues to be a problem for many businesses on Long Island, but there are efforts to bridge the gap and match the unemployed with workforce training to fill needed jobs. CBS 2's Carolyn Gussoff has the story in Nassau County. You can see the pandemic's toll in the village of Hempstead. Stores never reopened, jobs lost. Now a push to bring quality jobs to communities most impacted so they come back stronger, starting with job training in fields that are hiring. Like hospitality, retail, restaurants, and health care. Nassau County is trying to bridge the gap between labor shortages and those who need jobs, doling out $10 million of federal COVID recovery funds to Hempstead and schools to expand job training to create a deeper pool of qualified workers, like Ashley Vasquez studying to become a nurse to fill an explosion of openings in health care. We live on Long Island. I mean, it's extremely expensive. Um, so just so that I don't have to move off the island. Job training even available in retail. Actually teaching people basic math skills, basic uh, how to do an interview, how to talk to people. And in high paying building trades. Such as plumbers, electricians, iron workers, laborers, carpenters, insulators. Training runs from two to five years. The cost for the trainee? Zero. The opportunity is there. All they have to do is basically show up go through the classes. The money will also help Nassau Community College expand its offerings. Phlebotomy, certified nursing assistant, that would lead to potentially a career in nursing or radiological technology. There's also opportunities such as cybersecurity. These are high in-demand jobs, right, that are in, we have desperate need for. Nassau Community College plans to open a workforce education center with hundreds of slots for students to learn job skills, providing them with credentials so they can earn while they learn. Funds will also provide stipends for child care and transportation, which can get in the way of a good job. In Uniondale, Long Island, Carolyn Gussoff, CBS 2 News.